Hi all, so welcome to my channel. You click the link because you want to know if you should read The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin or not. And this, I think, depends on what you are interested in, not only just in literature but also in life. I was recommended this by a friend of mine who is quite political and actually when we do meet up we have a lot of political discussions about capitalism, about communism, about anarchism, socialism, all of the isms. I'm not really, I wouldn't say I was a political person, but it's interesting as I get older to explore some of these roots and I definitely feel that if you're a writer that is something that you should be exploring as well even if it's something that you don't necessarily want to write about. So this book is about two planets. You've got Uras and Aneris and one of them is an anarchist planet and one of them is a capitalist planet and so that's really the you have one character, Shevek, who we follow throughout the course of the book. The book is very interesting in the way that it's cut up. It's not a traditional time linear uh, plot line. It does go from... Um, it, it intermerges uh, his life. So one chapter is um, Shevek's... Um, beginning of the journey out to go and explore the planet of Uras, which is the capitalist planet. He's from the anarchist planet and he begins to um, travel there to explore. And then in chapter two, we have when he's born. And so chapter three then is chapter one plot line and chapter four is chapter two plot line. And um, at the end, everything kind of comes together um, and you get the book gives you know the whole package of um, that story um, and I won't give any more spoilers uh, because you haven't read the book yet so this book's going to challenge your imagination it did mine it was a very difficult read um, when I first read Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged I was just amazed at how she could build up a world like that. And since reading that, I feel like I haven't really discovered another author who has done, um, who has built up such a complex world in a novel. And this one by Ursula K. Le Guin met the bar that Ayn Rand set for me. So, Actually, Ursula K. Le Guin in The Dispossessed has built up a very elaborate world, a whole universe, many different characters, um, and with all of these different political systems across a galaxy, a cosmos, and she's done it exceptionally well. So the level of complexity in this book is amazing, and... Also, not you know, not only has she managed to write about different <clears throat> political structures uh, which resemble acts from the history of our Earth, Russia, China, UK, America, political systems. She's also done it at the same time as building a world, many worlds in space. So it's exceptionally talented. And it took me a week to read, and I thought it was going to be a quick read. But I soon discovered that it was a book which I would have to read and then put down again and think about. And it challenged my mind and it challenged my imagination to be able to store all of that and imagine all of that in my head. So... Um, it definitely has been, a, this week for me, definitely has been a trip. 
and um, it's been difficult for me to come back down to reality after spending time on Uras and Aneras because um, my brain has been in just a different place and then I have to come back down and live in on Earth. So it's been a weird and interesting one to read. Um, so, do I recommend it? If, if you want to expand your brain and if you want to think about different political systems, then yes. If you've read Ayn Rand, definitely, and, and enjoyed Ayn Rand, read this because it's going to give you a different perspective because Ayn Rand talks mainly about capitalism, communism. We introduce a third ism in this book, which is anarchism, and have the viewpoints on how an anarchist system could possibly work in real life, not without its problems, of course. And that's what Ursula K. Le Guin discusses, is all of the problems which an anarchist system might bring, although it would um, abolish poverty, uh, and potentially make human beings more lo loving and kind towards each other, which is great. It would also potentially have this array of problems, um, which is something that is nice to think about and examine. If you just would like a simple adventure book, which, you know, I love, um, then, you know, don't read this one because this one is very challenging and, um, yeah, it's going to push your imagination. I rate it a 7 out of 10 um, because, as for me, it was too elaborate and um, there was a lot... In general, I'm not really a big fan of sci-fi. Um, so that's why it lost the three points for me, just because I'm not really a big sci-fi fan and because I think that there are parts of it which were just too... Um, too much, too complicated, and um, um, I would have, in general, I like something that is um, a bit plainer, however, still beautiful in thought. And this was beautiful in thought, um, but due to the fact that it was set in another cosmos and in another galaxy, I think, to be honest, it pushed me a little bit too far. So, although it was a fantastic read and definitely expanded my mind, um, as a reader, it was too elaborate. So, that's my thoughts on that. If you do decide to read it, please let me know in the comments below. If you have read it, I've got another video, which is called My Thoughts on The Dispossessed where I'm going to be giving spoilers and talking about my attitude towards the actual sequence of plot events so if you read it and then want to hear what I have to say about it after you've read it please check that video out I'm going to put it in the link below and obviously leave your comments um, so See you around.